Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we are playing Reverberate by Hanky Mueller. If you do the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the description to decide whether or not we will be entering hell. Yes, every time I see a Hanky map come up, it's like, this may kill me. Uh, a remake of my map Echo, relay out by Quaternary, embedded light strips by Conclan. Nine out of ten, very hard. Main elements is auto portals and cubes. If you think you found any solution, please let me know. As always, feedback is appreciated. Now, I can't exactly remember which map Echo was. I seem to think, though, it was to do with um, using the cube or using like a version of the ghost cube, at least, to kind of do various actions. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure I will have played it. I've played, I think the only map in recent times of Hankies I haven't played, or haven't finished at least, was um, uh, Lace, Laced Up Advanced. Okay. Alright, let's go then, shall we? So, let's just try and work out what things are doing here. Oh, it's Auto Portal, isn't it? Duh. Obviously that's now going to get rid of that one there, which isn't very helpful. Already? I don't know how to begin. I don't know how to get started. Maybe over here. Let's go over here. Okay, so. Temporarily reverses the funnel. I guess there's no way to probably get that cube out, so it doesn't matter that that doesn't respawn. That one, though, we need to change around to get to do what we need to do. We have a cube at least right now, so we can do this. We can do this. Okay. We can reverse this here. And cause that to be respawned. But well, not respawned. I guess again with that cube. It's another cube which... <coughs> excuse me necessarily need. So, next. I probably want to swap cubes. Right. Something like this. I don't know. I'm probably like making a massive meal out of this. Uh, I don't want that one out, do I? No. Great. I'll take this one. Okay. So then what we're going to do is... That's it, right?
Yeah, that was right. I saw the keys. Come on, that cube on this side. Did did I wing it? Did I do a good job at winging it? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to do both, don't I? In a timely fashion. So that is right, yep. Yeah. That's the setup for the cubes, like that. So then I want to do... Oh, but I need down there. Wait, there's another cube? Have I got too many cubes now? I'm confused. No, there is three droppers. Oh. No. Hold on. That is two droppers, so that does two cubes. Okay, so... If that's the case... I just need to get this one out then, right? Alright, I think I gotta start this again to a certain degree. Because one of these will. Alright. Hold on, hold on. I need to do it in like a timed manner. So, press the button. I was supposed to gonna happen, right? So let's, let's just let's see what happens. Press the button. Race over here. Okay. But... Do I...
It's all gated, right? Yeah. I think what I need to do. Obviously, I need to get that cube out there. Oh, you know what? I never contemplated about doing that, did I? That might help matters a lot. That turns. Okay, that turns both the auto portals off. Okay. But I need to get rid of that with a cube in there. That's what I need to do. Hmm. That cube in here. All right, all right, all right. So, I want to be stood here. Oh. Wait a minute though, isn't this where this comes into play? Oh man, what am I doing? Hold on. Drag that back, right?
That's what I want, right. So now I can do this. Which gets me through to here. So now I need to think about... Let's go back down here. Now I need to think about how I... What's needed for that fizzler? It's just that one. So if I recall that one... Let me think about what I need to do. Do that and then go down to the middle bit to get the cube into there. I can put it on there and open up that and hopefully take that cube out. So. Snap. Kind of forgot about that, didn't we? Oh, I did. Oh, you twit. All right. Over here. Swaps the auto portal. But yeah, that's why I needed then. Ah, Fizzler. Basic portal principles, man. That gives a stalemate. So the only way to sort that would be to swap the cubes round so that one was over here, right? Yeah, see that doesn't do me any favours because of that. So now I would need to do... this.
So what I would need to do now... Press the button. Jump down, go back, go through here. Let's see if I press the button. Let's think, let's think. I press the button. And it's gonna respawn. Press the button. Let's imagine that one fizzles. That then sends that cube forward. Gives me that cube there. We lose that auto portal. But the portal goes in the other side. The thing is, though, I can't afford to lose. I can't afford to let the the cube in that funnel now touch that button. That's the whole point. Once I get this out of here, if I do that, then it, I, I lose all of this again. The only way to get it out, though... The only way to get it out is to take it through that fizzler, right? If I press that, then what's going to happen? The auto portal place is going to change. to there. No. I'm not going to have an auto portal. I am. The auto portal will end up behind there. And that will start moving. So I think I've almost got to like press the button, shoot a portal over to that side. And then possibly even take it keeps going up there. Alright, well, let's tell you what, let's just let's just try. Let's see what's gonna happen. So I could have bought myself a bit more time. All right, well, let's go back to the save. I could have bought myself a bit more time if I'd have stood on the button for a start, rather than trying to do it all in one foul swoop. Do that to bring it back a little bit. Okay. So now we have its own thingy on there. So that's effectively... Right, so what we've got there now... It can't respawn until we do anything with that cube. As long as that cube stays there, that's not going to respawn. 
Right, so, next. Let's go and get this cube. Put that one there. The other... Oh, sugar. I won't do that. So the other thing we could potentially do... That's trying to start that auto portal, so... That wouldn't work. Unless... Let's do something like this. No, because it's going to reverse that. That takes that to there. Not going to work. Also, I can't see that from there anyway, so... That's the blue cube, right? Let's think about this again. The problem is though, right now, got to use but two cubes to be able to pull this off so what everything I've achieved up to this point is pretty pretty redundant I'd say Or is it? Oh man. Well, 
That has to come off there. Anyway, the reason for that is that I need, like I said before, I need to use both the cubes. Okay, so I'll just drop it there. Like that. And then we was over here because we've just done that, right? Okay. So. That was in there. See, I don't want that to be in there, though, because of that cube. I still think this one needs to go on that that portal, that button over here. I believe that is right. That then allows us to get back over to here, right? And we can get up to here, do this, and we get into here. So. So what I would then do is... See, what I would think to do is... Get rid of the blue one, that will respawn to there. Put it in the pocket, move over here, put it on the button. But the problem with that is... Probably that is, then that's just going to move the other one off there. So I've still then got to go back again. But as long as I'm in this upper area, I just need to get that blue cube on that button. Basically. That was disastrous, wasn't it? Jeez. What you playing at, Knock?
It's frustrating because I know what I need to do. I just can't execute it. Actually, that might be it. That might be it. Right. Up to here. So that, 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 ah. There's not enough time to do that though, is there? What I was going for is send it all the way to the back. That one there, run through to the other side quickly. What if I double stacked? So. I need to do actually. Something like that. Oh, I forgot about that, didn't I? Whoopsie. Cube first. Cube. Cube. there. If that was the blue cube. Let's imagine we was like here. If the blue cube was on a timer.
So we get the feeling you've been here before. And the last time you was here, things really didn't work out, but you're just going to try it again anyway. So I'm pretty sure I have not got enough time to do something like this. I don't know. I'll give it some thought, guys, and I'll be back real soon. All right, guys, I am back, and I have finally, 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 after about an hour, made some progress and got this state here that I wanted to find. So I think the best thing to do is to restart the map and try to remember exactly what it was I just did. I have pretty much tried every single freaking permutation that I could think of here. Alright, so first of all, let's do this. La, 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 la. There you go. Alright, next up we're going to go down here. Feed this into here. Take it back from here. And that will open up our auto portal over here. This allows us to get the other cube. Oh. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need both of these cubes in this starting area. What, when I left you before, what I was trying to work out is how I could open this up and um, sort of what I thought was open that up but then have a way to disable this temporarily so I could shoot a port from that side up to there to get into there. What I didn't contemplate, and it's just come to me after an hour of tinkering about, is what if I'm already up there at a point when that all opens up. So that's what we're going to go for here. So we are going to stack that on there. And that's on there. Is that right? Oh, wait a second. I've forgotten what I done did. Oh yes, no I haven't, no, right, so, yes that was right. Now I think what I did was something along the lines of this and this. Uh, 
I'm sure this is what I just did. I actually can't remember and it's quite embarrassing. Alright. It was something like that. What did I do? Sheet. <sighs> I have to go back to the drawing board and think about this again. All right, guys, we're back for another part of this. And right, okay, this time, this time we are going to nail this. So, let's do this. And then we're going to do this. Oop, leave that there. So, what I want to do here is put this cube on here. This one on top. And it's the white cube that we need to spawn or cause to spawn. Uh, F6. Don't know why I was going for F9 there. Hey ho. Alright, so now we go through here. Like so. And we do this. Um, we send this back again. And now we wait for the auto portal to change. Like that. Refire on here. Boom. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so. Now we have all three cubes. Now we have all three cubes. Um, so. Now I just need to work out the order of things. It's, it's this one, isn't it? So... What needs to happen? That one comes off to take that up there. But then I need enough time to kind of run across there and do that thing. So... I would assume what we're going to want to do is take this one plop this one on here Right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I see what we need to do. there 
need to bring that one back. Yeah, I remember what I need to do now. I need to stack both these cubes here and the blue one, because then that buys me a bit of extra time for that to drop. Um, however, my issue now is getting back over to here. save a minute because I'm pretty sure I've messed everything up on that so what I need to do is Okay, so what I need to do is this, I think. See, what I was going for, what I was hoping for, is that would, like, fall a little bit nearer to here, and then I could, like, through the grating, I could plop that through while I was on the other side and then pick it up. I could put this on that other button to open this auto portal and the fizzler. But then it'd be a race against time. But maybe that's what it needs to be.
can't do both that and that. That nullifies the portals. I really don't want to be losing that cube again, though. Let's go back to where we got the cube. So I got the cube here. I will have come through there. So I won't have another portal. Okay, so F6. Let's save there. So currently the other portal is over on that side. It's not going to involve this button, it can't, because it wouldn't make sense to now recall that again a second time. We have to take that cube down there. We can't take it anywhere else but down there. So we take that down there. We can always swap it out with that take that cube through okay I think I need to get this in that pocket there Once it's in that pocket there, once it's in there, can hit that. that all right so we can put it put it in the pocket like this
Back up a minute. So let's imagine we did that while we was doing that. So we hit the button, grab the cube, put it in the pocket. Experimentation time. I think I could have done that better. Definitely could have done that better. It wasn't even on the cube. Sorry guys. See I do that though and then that kind of like restricts me. Am I just overcomplicating this? Do I have enough time?
just to do something like this. Oh, that's right. Now I yeah, that's right. And then I need to. Ugh, I sh I should have looked at that before. All right, so I need to hit hit the button first. So this is right. So what I need to achieve I need a cube on there So I need a cube on here Because what I need is hit the button, walk along here, hit the button, and then So it still puts me back in the same sort of predicament that I was in before. So maybe I need to actually have these the other way around, possibly.
possibly just screw myself big time. Let me just... Let me just simulate what I think needs to happen. Cheers, this goes over to here. That one goes to there, that one goes there. But in order for that to work, I would need a cube on there to open up that portal. So I think there is a move needed here with timing. But I'm not seeing how to set it up at the moment, so... If that was on there. And I got up to here. All 
Alright, so is there a way that I can swap these cubes round? Actually, I need to swap them round. My other thought is if I now get to the top, so in theory, let's let's just simulate this a moment. What if I did something like this? Still gives me minimal time though, doesn't it? to go at the same time. Alright, I'm stumped again. I'll have to play around off camera and... Um, I will come back to it real soon. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, all I'm going to say is four hours sleep for the win. Yes. Um, Death Wish. Naughty boy. Kept me up till late in the morning. Just uh, having fun, chatting around. And um, I just came back to it this morning, tried a couple of different things. I actually got to the exit. Now I just need to remember what I did. So, what did I do? So, I took this through to the other side. That's what I did. Alright, so, let's go. I was kind of thinking last night about um, different bits and pieces I could do. And I was thinking, what if I could, I thought I could get that cube into the pocket by using the button and the timer put it in the pocket, coming through here, and that, but it still didn't really make much difference. So, now that we have this, we do actually need to use the pocket, though. So I'm going to pop this one into the pocket. I'm going to come through to here, like so. Take it out of the pocket, like so. That's so what this does. This gives us the portal on that side, and this allows us to bring this cube through to oh, right about here. We're going to leave that there for a moment. So we're actually going to want to do this. And this is going to be our first one. This is going to be our second one. And then I was thinking to myself, well, okay, that's good. I've got all the cubes here. How can I give myself enough time to press the button and get back down here? Blah, 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 blah. And then it dawned on me, actually. One thing I, I maybe could have used, utilized a lot earlier. I don't have to come all the way back here. I can simply shoot a portal in there on my way out, pop, peek out the portal, fire one there, and run through into the other side. So, this should be what I just worked out. And this should be the ending 
of reverberate. Fingers crossed. Do that. Do that. Nope. Timing is critical. Of course. Just got to remember to take that off the button as we come back through. Alright, should we try that again? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. I can't believe I like pulled it off like first time this morning. Okay. And then we take this one off. Do a big jump. And there we go, guys. Wait for that one to go over. Just like that. Cool map, Hanky. Um, I'm really happy that I actually managed to work it out on my own merit as well. Um, I think the original... Was the original a little bit harder than that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's a very, very cool concept using the... Um, fizzling the, the cubes on a timer to actually do an action. Um, I guess the hardest bit for me was working out how to get that cube up there out of that area. Which, um, once I tried a couple of other bits and pieces, like like with this ending. This ending, I got a lot quicker than that bit. But, um, yeah. It's, it's sometimes really hard to think, even though you don't have a lot of elements in a map, it's sometimes really hard to think what you can do differently um, to actually solve the map. But, um, Yay, we did it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any messages to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link that in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.